Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to, to episode 12 of A Girl and Her Guard Dog, <sighs> especially with how last week's episode ended with that ish. I don't know if I'm really truly ready to watch this episode. I mean, <laughs> it's funny because this <laughs> the whole little bit was all on Twitter, and I was just like, yeah, I know. Even though I was over here taking her out and imagining me in... I was still kind of uncomfortable and everybody on Twitter is like, what is this? <laughs> Just like, once again, I'm watching this where half happy because I'm thinking of myself in this situation as my age and stuff. And then the other half of me is like, I don't know how to feel. Like, oh my God. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. But they did post a really good picture of Umihara today. So I am happy about that. I wish I saw it while, like, I wish I didn't have to work today. But, you know, I had to. Well, hold up, damn. But see, I felt like the way that he just said that. Girl. But see, my thing is, in a way he kind of did, but just not in a way that you expected. I mean, he is a man after all, duh. No. No. That That's the same thing with all of us girls versus guys. There are some guys who can think of romance and everything the same way girls do, but typical guys, uh-uh. I mean, these are the things that you can ask him during this situation. Even if I was in this situation with him, of course, I would immediately be like, hey, yo, let's talk about this. Uh, baby, I don't think you're a couple. <laughs> oh, my God. I love how she was just like in her mind like mm, how do I wear this and then it's just like okay let me ask you something uh, did you do the math on like, um. and I mean I get it because 
she's still a teenager and such and it's different being an adult because as an adult and as a woman where in a way we are more we're more stern depending on the woman not everybody really is like let's go ahead and talk about this some women are very much like oh mm, i'm a little hesitant and such because you know you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings and stuff and you don't really from what i have heard and such with guys you don't want to say well what are we we're, we're hanging out and such but you you don't feel anything from me and such and so of course yeah she feels that way but if let's say if i was if i was in the situation and i did not i feel something but if he doesn't feel anything then i would still continue as a friendship and i think that's what she's starting to kind of picture now but uh, i don't know But he's fine. Look at him. Once again, I date him. I want to talk about it. Wait, hold on, not now. No, 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 no. I have a bad feeling about this. Probably want to go do a, take a smoke. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mm. Well, are you serious? The way she just ran away. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs>
You want to? Well, of course, yeah. Psh. Yes. Who the fuck cares? baby. Boys are stupid. Men are stupid, too. But in a way, baby, you still are. Did he seriously just say that? What the fuck? <sighs> That's worse than a guy saying, oh my god, why are you upset? But like, did you really just fucking ask me that question? Excuse my language, but I'm sorry. Like, yeah, you asked me that question? Ooh. <laughs> Uh. Baby, there is no relationship. Like, goddamn. Excuse me.
What? Yeah, a coupon, right? Maybe. But no, of course he wants to talk to your friends real quick. <laughs> You're ordering more? <laughs> you can't say that to them. Oh my god. You go like, they're ordering more. Oh my god. You can't be a horn dog all the time. Mm hmm. What you ordered this time? Oh, baby, you really are dense. You hot. You a himbo. You hot, but oh, you sometimes are the smartest. But I mean, that's why I like you and such. But I just hate the fact that you were over here obsessing with the damn child. Go find a woman. Damn.
Jesus. Look at her face. Oh my God. We fine. Okay, so the fact that he knows now and he's told Isaku's friends that, yeah, he fucked up and such. The fa I mean, it would have been better once again if this was in, like, a college situation. Because if it was in a college situation, like, the girls could literally just go the F off on him and be like, you know what, your mother F -a but, but no. Um, the fact is that, like, one of them had said, um... Excuse me. Like, hey, you a horn dog. You immediately, you take the, uh, the, her saying I love you, you saying it back, but you immediately want to, you know, have sex with her and stuff. For, for girls where sex is very, you know, important and meaningful to us. I don't, like, I'm not going to say all guys don't think that, but there are some guys who do either think, yes, it's very, sex, um, very important or it's not. Um... But it just depends on the guy and such. And when you find a guy who is like, okay, yeah, I, I'm I'm okay with waiting when you're ready and stuff. It, it's a really sweet and interesting type of guy. So always go out and find a guy like that. But um, the fact that he has realized that he's messed up and that it's his fault. It does make me wonder, like, with their... Not when I'm looking, let's call it a friendship. What their friendship between these two is going to head. We have only really one episode left to see how this is all going to wrap up by next week. Um, and something tells me it's going to give it a really dumb ending where I'm just going to be like, okay, I'm satisfied Like after this because this is going to be one of those shows where everybody's just going to be like, thank God this show is fucking over because we all watched it for different things. I, I'm only watching it for, once again, a say you and such. Um, even though I felt like, in a way, <laughs> he probably did not enjoy playing a character with these types of feelings for a child and such. But, you know, he was just like, you know what, fuck it, I'm doing it for the money and such. I'm getting paid for this, so fuck it. Um, but if this ends in an interesting way, I mean, I'm not saying that they get together, but... They, he, he says to her, like, hey, I apologize for this, da-da-da-da-da. 
um, and whatever. It's really because it, it's both of their first steps. That's the thing. But who knows really what the heck is going to happen next week. A lot of things can happen in this finale episode. But of course, I'm not going to watch it until I get home from work next week. Because unfortunately, I have to work again um, next Thursday. So hopefully, it's not too, too long while I'm at work. Even though I don't want to go next Thursday. But that's all I really got to say. I mean, for some parts, it was really enjoyable. I hated the fact that he also wanted to kiss another child and such. I thought that was... No. Be one of those roles that initially when this show was over we're never gonna look at this role again for umihara and such because like thank god he's playing joker in the suicide squad <laughs> he's okay and been like yes let's up that but no with this like yeah he, you know he looks good in the suit and everything because the promotion of the pictures that they've done for the last couple of weeks like a tier top let's go but <laughs> Yeah, this is gonna be that one show that we're all gonna look back on and be like, we all agree that we're never watching this show again. <laughs> probably a lot of people. I know I will. I, I will agree. Probably after when I'm done watching this, I will probably never rewatch this show and stuff because Jesus Christ, the things in this show. <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 12 of A Girl and Her Guard Dog. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday. Um, Sunday. Wrong day. Next Thursday for the final episode. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.